allergic conjunctivitis <clears throat> allergic conjunctivitis the most common one i would say isn't it uh, the presenting complaint pain or discomfort i would say discomfort conjunctivitis is inflammation or swelling of the thin clear layer that covers the white of your eye and the lines your eyelid conjunctiva conjunctiva conjunctivitis mostly it's allergic conjunctivitis allergic right but yes um, it could be uh, bacterial as well. If, uh, for example, there is pus discharge coming and all, then you, you will be able to get it, right? Uh, but which is the most common one? The allergic. Allergic conjunctivitis is the, is the most common one. That is what you're going to see. So red eye, uh, itchiness, discomfort, gritty sensation, watery. But then you need to ask a bit more about that uh, discharge, the, the, the lacrimation, I mean... Uh, so that's going to be really important. Yeah. So now what you need to rule out, uh, ruling out allergic or uh, uh, if it is allergic conjunctivitis or is it bacterial or viral conjunctivitis, depending on the discharge. Another thing, ask about the pain, if there is a pain or not. If there is pain, then you need to go for acute angle closure, glaucoma, scleritis, keratitis. Yeah. What else you will be asking? Contact lens history. Uh, upper respiratory, because if the patient recently had uh, upper respiratory tract infection, then that could be very important. I mean, that will be giving you, it could be like conjunctivitis, right? Uh, autoimmune conditions, see, autoimmune conditions uh, can always give rise to these things, yeah? Because the immunity is going to be low and patient can have these things, right? Eye examination, visual acuity you can do. Usually, it doesn't affect the vision. Uh, vision is going to be restored. The nose, there, there is no problem with the vision in most of the cases, right? Uh, rarely, we can go for slit lamp examination as well. Investigation, allergic conjunctivitis, come on, you don't have to do anything, right, in terms of investigation. But if you feel sometime, we can go for slit lamp examination as well. But if this patient is coming to the GP, they don't usually send the patient for any further investigation. They just give some lubricant eye drops and patient is going to be okay. Find out the triggers, what can be the trigger. I mean, if it is a upper respiratory tract infection, so just make sure you treat that properly. And... Uh, Avoid rubbing into the eye. Cold compresses. Uh, take a flannel and use cold compresses. That's going to be quite helpful. Uh, topical antihistaminics just for the allergic because it's allergic conjunctivitis. That's the main thing. But, you know, in the exam, remember one thing. If, if, if you know, patient is coming to you with a very easy diagnosis like allergic conjunctivitis, we know it's easy to manage. But I want you to make sure you're giving the warning signs to this patient. Right. Uh, like when we give antibiotics. So if your symptoms are not getting better, if you feel that your discharge is becoming more sticky and you feel like it's pus like, come back to the hospital. And if this discomfort in the eye, it has become like a pain. It's more of a pain, not a discomfort anymore. Make sure you come back to us or go to the hospital straight away. So that is something that you need to give as a follow up or warning sign. Other allergic conjunctivitis is just a reassurance, reassurance, reassurance. But with warning signs, that's what you need to do. Do I need antibiotics for allergic conjunctivitis? Not really. How long will it last? Maybe a week or two and you'll feel better after that. Yeah. Ice. Ask the patient, what do you think you have? And they'll be able to tell actually. <laughs> right. Uh, check and check. That is going to be uh, very important. Summarize, acknowledgement, body language, signposting, active listening, leaflets. Again, I'm going to repeat all these points again and again. So it fits in your mind. That's the main thing, right? So conjunctivitis uh, uh, mainly is allergic. But you need to look for if there is any any underlying cause like antibiotics for bacterial if there is a history of genital herpes genital sores so might be like herpetic conjunctivitis so that is something that you will see but most of the times you'll see uh, in the exams they won't be giving those uh, they'll be giving us allergic conjunctivitis because it's the most common one but what they want from our side are we are we making sure that we ruled out the sinister things or not right or we gave the gave the warning signs uh, or bacterial, at least for the pus sticky discharge or not. All right, so that was allergic conjunctivitis.